All right, one by one, we're gonna do the rules of driving in the state of Arizona. And I have driven all over the world, 60 something countries. I don't care if it's a right side lane, a left side lane, right side steering wheel, left side shift, roundabout goes this direction, that direction, or anything else. I know the rules, I'm familiar with this stuff. However, Arizona is a different kind of place to drive. I have no idea why. But here's the thing, rule number one. If you're coming to a controlled intersection and the light is red, mash that gas pedal. You got to get up to that red light as fast as possible. Bonus points, absolute bonus points. If somebody next to you was approaching it as a leisurely pace, flip them the bird. What are they thinking? If you don't get up to that red light right away, you're gonna be really, oh man, it's, it's not a good situation. So get there. Okay, driving in Arizona, rules of the road, number two rule. So, this is important because people in other states don't know about this. If you come to a controlled intersection with a red light, Arizona cars have a special feature on them that it, you might not even know about it living in Arizona, but our cars have a special feature, unique feature. That light is red, start creeping into the intersection. Just move your, I, I don't care, you can go all the way to the middle of the intersection on a red light. There is a feature in Arizona cars that uh, I guess people believe this is the case, that will force the light to turn green. It, it has no choice. You just keep moving in that intersection, just keep on going in the intersection. And, and then here's the thing, when it does turn green, don't go. Just sit there like, ooh, I'm checking my phone now. Uh. Driving in Arizona, rule number three. This one is a real kicker. You're on, there are a lot of multi-lane highways around the Metro Phoenix area, and they are huge. So let's say you're on a five-lane highway, freeway, expressway, whatever it is. It's five lanes. There's only one other car beside you. One car. And he's in the right lane. Get up on his ass. Tailgate that guy. Get on his tailpipe. What is he doing over there? You need to get right behind him. Push him if you have to. But tailgate him. Why, why, you know, why do you want to use those empty lanes to the left of you when you can ride this guy and just and be irritated because how dare he be going 10 miles over the speed limit and you still have to tailgate him? There's something wrong with that guy. That's, you know, it makes no sense. Tailgate. It's a law. It's in the motor vehicle code in Arizona. You must tailgate at all costs. All right, driving in Arizona, rules of the road number four. This one's very interesting. It's not our fault as drivers. It's the engineering. They designed the lanes here in Arizona, so they're only eight feet wide. Well, the problem is a car is six feet wide. That only gives you a foot to the left, foot to the right. You can see here what's going to happen. We need more room. We have to go to the lane on the right, and we have to go to the lane on the left, and... That means we have to push somebody out of their lane because they don't have a big enough lane. They have a six foot car and eight foot lane. It's no good. It's basic math. It's science. And, and so this is what happens. You fade here, you fade there. People have to react and you know, sometimes there's an accident or a crash or whatever, but it happens. Now here's, here's the cool thing. There are bonus points. If you push somebody, you fade out of your lane and the next one you push somebody over and they see you're on a cell phone, bonus points. Driving in Arizona, rules of the road number six. I do not understand this one. It's weird, it's a technology situation. Just as I told you, Arizona cars have the ability to force a red light to change to green light. Who do that? Anyway, they don't make cars in Arizona. We don't have Bluetooth, no Bluetooth. So we can't connect our telephones to the car. We have to hold our phones while we drive. And I mean, I'm talking about, we have a lot of nice cars. We have McLarens and Lamborghinis and, you know, our, our gardeners, uh, they drive Mercedes. It's, it's just, we have nice cars. I don't care what the car is. Every other car in the world for the last 10 years has had Bluetooth and they can do hands-free, not in Arizona. You have to hold that phone up to your head. Now, that shouldn't be such a big deal, but holding it to your head while your other hand is stuffing your face with, with quick food, Oh, baby. 
driving in Arizona rules of the road number seven I think number seven so here's the, these are vehicle specific so if you're driving a pickup truck and you're pulling a horse trailer get into the left lane and stay there you own that lane it's your lane it's your right stay in the I don't care how many cars are behind you stay in that left lane if you're driving an Audi and you have to go like a bat at all drive as fast as you can because I know we all know you have to get to the dealer while the car is still running if you're riding it running a BMW well I can't say anything about that because I don't go to the poor parts of town I never see a BMW if you're driving a Subaru rice rocket hey get a muffler and finally ultimately if you're driving a Tesla Arizona state driving laws do not apply to Teslas do anything you want because we know you do over and out